Hey Morningstar, a couple years ago, we put together something that we call our clear path of discipleship. You see, people were always asking us, what does a fully devoted follower of Jesus look like? You're always saying fully devoted follower, what's that look like? And, and so we began putting together not, not an outward profile of, of characteristics, here's what the face looks like and the arm, but, but rather, you know, practices that fully devoted followers would be committed to. And, and we've been using this clear path as a visual tool to help people identify and then take next steps in their spiritual journey, which is what our mission at Morningstar is all about. The, the goal of our mission, the goal of the clear path, is the circle part, being a fully devoted follower of Jesus Christ. And, and that's our job as assigned to us by Jesus. The church is called to make disciples, persons who are fully devoted to him. Jesus builds a church. Now, our clear path, as you see, has four main sections, what we call our four Bs, begin, belong, become, and bless. And, and you've seen these words in our, in our, our various website you know, activities that, that we publish there or in our pre-service slides or in, our, in a worship bulletin. The truth is, all activities that we say yes to, they have to fall into one of those four Bs. Or ju we just won't do it because that's who we are as a church. Begin is about attending our open mic night and our connect classes, and then become, belong, bless are, are the key growth engines for disciples to believe more and more fully in Jesus and become more devoted. Belonging is about belonging in community with other believers. It might mean you're serving in a, in a regular ministry team once or twice a month, and, and that's the group that you come to know, or, or maybe it's belonging to a Bible study or a step study celebrate recovery or men's or, or women's ministry become as uh, about corporate and individual practices like worship and Bible study, prayer and devotion, a myriad of ways that you can develop faith in Jesus. And as you develop that faith, you actually become more and more like Jesus. And then finally, bless. Bless is about using the gifts and talents that God's entrusted you to build others up, to build up others who who maybe attend our church or maybe who don't attend our church, those in our community, those in our world. And hey, you can bless others by serving on the weekend, or it might mean going on a mission trip or volunteering at our great pumpkin festival or, or, or something like volunteering at the New Hope Resource Center or packing backpacks for backpack impact. So many ways. Our clear path, folks, is intentionally circular, reminding us that that not all, not all of us take that same step first. Discipleship is not a linear, one-size-fits-all path. Rather, it's a journey that isn't always neatly balanced, but one step that leads to another and another to deeper and deeper levels of commitment. Furthermore, you can see that our, list, uh, our discipleship path doesn't have a laundry list of have-tos, just three simple, straightforward components where we come to believing more and more in Jesus, which, which kind of goes straight to the, to the actual definition we have of discipleship, which is moving from unbelief to belief in every area of our life. So, so hey, let me give each of you this challenge and invitation, uh, a first step for some of you and maybe a next step for many of you. Join a small group this week. I mean, this is the perfect week as we start a, our six-week all-church study that goes hand-in-hand hand with this new message series that we uh, have developed entitled Follow. Pretty ironic, right? Very appropriate. See, when you join a small group, you'll have instant community. You'll belong to a group of others who are likewise committed to growing in your faith. Uh, the teaching in the study is perfect for becoming like Jesus as we're looking at the invitations and challenges he set before the folks of his day who were looking for more from their life, more of who God designed and purposed them to be, disciples who would follow Jesus. And, and finally, hey, you might be the one who would even encourage your group to step out and serve together, maybe sign up as a group to serve at our great pumpkin festival in October. In October. Seriously, hey, when it comes to taking a next step, how much better or clearer do you need the call to be than to hear Jesus say, hey, come, follow me. You're going to be hearing about it in worship. All the people at Morningstar are going to be invited and challenged to sign up. This is the perfect time to take that next step and follow me. 
So all you've got to do is, hey, click the link below and sign up for a small group today while there's still time left before we start this series this weekend. So Morningstar, as always, be the church, and I'll see you this weekend as we start to unpack the challenges and blessings associated with following Jesus Christ. See you then.